Good afternoon. I haven't done a lot of filming today. I had to take my car and have it detailed at Kia. Um, I had a doctor's appointment this morning, so I'm really just now getting to film. And I'm going to film a cook with me. I'm going to be cooking breakfast for dinner. So we're going to get started. All right, I'm getting ready to start my grits. I just put in my water and my salt. And... I'm doing old-fashioned grits. Hey, guys. Here. Hello, guys. All right. Let me get this real quick. Um, I just measured out a cup of, of the old-fashioned grits. I don't wait till it's boiling to put mine in. I go ahead and do it and just get a good stir. I feel like when the water's hot and everything, it just makes it all clumpy, so I just try to... Get it in there. So, we're going to do that. Now, I know everybody may do different things to their grits, but we have a place here um, where I live, and it's called Old McDonald's Fish Camp, and they have like all-you-can-eat grits and hush puppies, and their grits are some of the best grits. Like, oh my goodness, they're so good. So, one, my friend Dana, her husband, he's a chef which he won't give me his recipe, but he said, I will tell you this. Put cream cheese in your grits, and I'm going to tell you. I put about a quarter block of cream cheese in my grits, and they are the best grits ever. So if y'all do that, let me know. But if you don't, and you like grits, you definitely need to try it, because... It's a game changer for your grits. It's so, so good. Sorry, I'm putting the lid back on there. Um, it's just so good. Like, they're so creamy, and they just got the best taste to them. And I don't know how to explain it, but if you know, if you eat them that way, then you know what I'm talking about. So, I just let those go. These are going to take about 30 minutes. So once they, they're starting to come up. So yeah, I got my grits going. I'm gonna put my cream cheese in. Once I get that going, then I have my griddle out. I'll get my sausage and my bacon going, and then my eggs, and I've got some canned biscuits that I'm just gonna throw in the um, oven too. I was gonna do toast, but I was like, I'd rather do some biscuits. So that's what we got going on, and as soon as I get the sausage and bacon and stuff on the griddle, I'll bring y'all back and let y'all see. All right, my grits are boiling. I added about two tablespoons of butter. Now I'm going to add my cream cheese. Give that a quick stir. And now I'm going to lower my heat to low. Put my lid on and just let those sit there and they will... Um, thicken up and we'll stir in the cream cheese and butter really good and I'm telling you these things are so so good y'all let me know what y'all having for dinner tonight okay so now I got my griddle hot and going and I'm going to add these sausage links on here I have a little bit of water up here because I like to kind of Cook them till the water evaporates to get them cooked all the way through without burning them first. Alright, let me wash my hands. That's what that looks like. All the water will evaporate out of them. So I'll just keep cooking these and turning them. Let me get my fork. So they're cooked all the way through. Then once these get done, then we will put the bacon on.
How do y'all like your eggs? My husband, will, he prefers them either scrambled or fried with the egg busted. I don't really care for, for them. I mean, I'll eat um, maybe a couple spoonfuls of like scrambled eggs, but they have to, I fry them up in a little bit of bacon grease. Otherwise, I just can't eat them. I'm not a real big egg person. And I know it's, they have a lot of protein and stuff in them, but. I really like having biscuits and gravy. Those are yummy. One day I'm gonna have to cook that. Do the biscuits and gravy, biscuits and gravy. So we're just gonna let those go for a few minutes. I'll talk to y'all while those are doing that. So, how's everybody's Monday going? I had a doctor's appointment this morning. It, it wasn't very long. And then um, when I bought the car last week, they since it was so late, they were like, we owe you a detail. So um, I just took it up there today and had them detailed it. Well, they detailed it for me. And it that took about uh, maybe an hour. Sorry, this thing was on backwards. Um, yeah, that took about an hour, so by the time I got done with that and got back home, I had about 15 minutes before I had to leave to go get Brantley from school. This week is going to be busy with work, so I knew I wasn't going to be able to take it any other day. Um, not that it really needed it, but hey, it was free. They want to do it for you. Why not go ahead and have it detailed? It looks really good, especially since it's been raining here. It did get kind of, you know, the dirt and stuff slung up on the sides of it and everything. So now, it's nice and pretty outside and sunny. No rain clouds. So now it's nice and shiny and it's looking good. Alright, so I'm going to turn these real quick. I just kind of put these on a lower temp. That way they just don't burn first before they cook all the way through. These are Brantley's favorite. He loves these. Normally I wouldn't even cook the whole pack, but he, he'll he eat like five of them and because he don't, he don't really care for bacon. What child does not care for bacon? Well, I know there's people that don't like bacon, but you're crazy. I'm just playing. Bacon is just so good. So, he um, really don't care for bacon. He prefers the sausage. And so, um, he'll eat his sausage and grits. And he's like, is there any more sausage? And I'm like, no, I didn't cook anymore. So, lately I've been just cooking the whole pack because it will get eaten. Eaten. I cannot talk. But, I'm probably going to make a grit breakfast bowl just put your grits in it and everything else in on top the sausage the bacon and just mix it all up that's the way i like to eat my breakfast just mix it all up together in one big bowl and eat it and we'll just make some canned biscuits and put some butter and, and jelly on them butter jelly biscuits y'all eat those I need some recipes. Like, I'm always trying to find recipes. My son is, you know, I know y'all know if you have kids or family members with kids, they have the fundraisers that they bring home from school to sell. And his is due next Monday. And I was thinking about getting inside this book. It has see where's it at it has some soups and like cheese ball recipe or the kits all right can y'all see that the, it comes with you can get the three soups the fiesta soup trio mix and one is a tortilla soup a chicken enchilada soup and a taco soup so i'm thinking about getting that and trying it and see how those soups are. They also have a, a baked potato soup in there, but I already have a baked potato soup 
Um, or mine's a loaded baked potato soup that I make. And I was like, oh, yeah. I need to be making that one soon because it is so good. So, so good. See, the water is starting to evaporate and then they'll start browning. But to me, I think I need to add just a little bit more water to cook them around in because I know the inside is not fully cooked yet. I don't really want to start browning up too fast on me. Because Brantley's, he's so picky. He's so picky. We're like, it's too dark. I can't eat it. You know how kids are. Alright, so we're going to give these grits here a stirring. And there's the chunk of cream cheese in there and it'll just melt as you stir in and it warms up. But I'm telling you guys, if you do not put cream cheese in your grits, you definitely need to try it. And if somebody lives with you that don't like cream cheese, don't tell them that the cream cheese is in there. Like, you won't taste the taste of cream cheese but it just makes your grits so much more. Oh, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's just so good. I will never make grits ever again without the cream cheese. That's for sure. And, you know, it might not be for everybody, but I definitely know it's for me and my family because we love them. When I tried that and they tasted... Similar to um, the restaurant that serves them. I was just like, I mean, I'm pretty sure they have more ingredients and stuff that they put in there. But, I was like, that was good enough for me. These things are really, really good. Alright, so that water's kind of evaporated too. I'm just going to get those moved around and like that, start browning them up. Get these done. And then we'll get our bacon on, and then we'll do our eggs. And I got to get my biscuits out and put those on a bacon sheet. I'll be right back. All right, we're browning up the sausage. Looking good, looking good. Give me a thumbs up if you like sausage. I know I do. I need to get me a person that can stand here and film so that way I don't have it all the way over here when I'm trying to be over here. I'm trying to look at it and look at it through the camera and then I'm like, oh, it's not even on there. <coughs> Excuse me. See, there I go again. Okay. All right, we're going to get these finished um, browned up and then we'll get the bacon on. All right, I'm pulling these sausages off, and I'm going to put them on paper towels. That way they can get some of this grease off and drain. Whoop. Come on. There we go. And last two. All right, now we're gonna get the bacon going. All right, bacon. So when I was at the store buying this bacon, there was a guy stocking up on the black label bacon. It's, you know, a little bit more expensive. Um, and he was saying that they're gonna have shortage of bacon because of the um, the flooding and stuff in North Carolina with all the pigs, a lot of the pigs, you know, drowning and stuff, and that it was going to be at like $15 a pound, and he said that he heard it on the news, but I was like, oh no, $15 a pound, but 
That's just what he was telling me about. I, was like, I didn't hear about it. Yep, so we got some bacon on. We're going to let that cook. And when that gets done, I have a little bit more bacon to cook. And then we will do the eggs. I got to put the biscuits in. All right, there's the grits. Yum. Finishing up the bacon now and getting ready to do the eggs. I got three eggs in there with a little bit of milk. What do you mean? Uh uh. I'm getting the uh, stuff done. In just a minute, we're, it's almost done. Oh, it's almost done. And then you get to sit down and eat. Poor thing. You haven't ate anything all day, have you? Uh uh. No. No, you just had one. You just had one. No, sir. I know. But what? I know. You just had one. All right, stop. I got to get the, um. Mommy! All right, there's the last little bit of bacon. Okay, this is a big Uh-uh, put that down. That's a big four. All right, just pulled the biscuits out. Now I'm going to get this bacon off and start on the eggs. All right, we're going to pour the eggs on. And... This is how we do ours. Has all that bacon flavor in them. That's the only way I can eat them, so. <laughs> Frantly. What? Please. You can have it with dinner. Alright, well, you fix and eat. Alright, let me get these done and I'll get back with y'all. Alright guys, I'll show you my breakfast bowl. I got a little bit of egg, grits, sausage, and bacon. And I have a biscuit with some jelly. And that's what. So we're having for dinner. Let's give it a mix. I know I have a couple of friends that do not like their food to touch, so I know that they would never do that. So some of you might be like that, but I just love it all mixed together. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with this food. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Um trying to hurry up and get a taste test for getting to Say my prayer first. Um, only when it comes to breakfast do I like it all mixed up like that, though. Breakfast stuff, but it's yummy. Mm. Yummy, yummy. I've been wanting. wing stop so might have to get that this week or tomorrow or something we'll see how it goes but I've been wanting some of their boneless wings and their fries oh I love their fries they're so so good and they got the best ranch love their ranch but I'm gonna um probably get that tomorrow or one day this week and I'm going to get off here and eat my food, and I hope everybody has a great Monday night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell to get notified every time I upload a video, and make sure you share. Thanks, guys. See you later. Coffee toffee cake from Bull Weevil. Yum.